We're going to do a quick video on uh, basic supine or core training or dead buggy, as we call it. And in a, it, the first thing we want to do, we're talking about training our dead bug, is teaching the client to find neutral. And with this, what we're going to do is just lie in the back here. I'm going to have my client put their hands into their low back, all right? From here, I'm going to have you arch as much as you can and then press into your hand as much as you can. Just do this a couple times. <clears throat> From here, we're going to find a spot that's a little bit more flexed than extended. So my back, my hands are more in my back, more pressed into the ground than they are arched. And now, I find the spot basically where the least tension exists in my back, but mainly, you know, more flexed than extended. And you want to cue the client to keep their, uh, keep the pressure here the entire time. When this starts to change, and you'll find that when I extend my legs out too far, or my arms go too far away, or whatever it may be, you know, then we're not using our abs anymore. So we want to, you know, simply explain it that way to the client. So the first level of this is when we're doing this, we just uh, extend our legs out, right? So we're just alternating. And the key is that the back position doesn't change. And what I like to do with this is we take a deep breath in at the top. Think about cueing the client to fill the belly with air, blow out. Forced exhale, slide one leg out. Deep breath in. Forced exhale, fully exhale, come back. The, the benefit of that is, is we're doing that as we fully come out, we fully blow out and come back. This, this ensures the client is getting, you know, the benefit of the, of the diaphragm, the TBA, along with our outer core muscles, as well as they're moving fairly slowly. Like if they're just moving as quickly as they can, you know, we're not going to engage our core like we want. So <clears throat> that's important. The next progression is obviously going to be um, feet off the ground. And what I like to do kind of as an intermediary step um, when, I'm, when I'm kind of progressing to a dead bug is I'll have clients either squeeze a tennis ball or hold on to an object uh, just to help to create some pressure here. So kind of using the ball here, what I can do is squeeze with my right hand, deep breath in. Once again, just start to alternate my legs, deep breath in, start to alternate my legs. And then, you know, I can also squeeze it in the other hand in the same fashion. Now. The goal would be to eventually get to arm and leg movement together. Now the cool part is when we're looking at training for either sagittal plane activities or frontal or transverse plane activities, we can move in different directions, kind of tune the abs um, to deal with those particular demands. Okay, so let's say um, we're going to play soccer that day or we have, we're, we're doing some like lateral agility training, something like that. I'm going to take a deep breath in and I can just kind of cue more wider contralateral motion or literally moving to the side you know in a similar fashion to what we might find in even in a side shuffle pattern if we're training a thrower and throwing is an ipsilateral pattern meaning you know I'm using the same side to create force I could do something like this where I'm squeezing and I'm moving on the same side, whereas if, you know, gates or running or, you know, sprinting is the goal, we can do something which is a little bit more contralateral. You know, and really, um, you know, these are just some different patterns that I'm looking at. I can uh, perform a pullover, extend my legs out. One leg can go out this way. Arm can go out this way. I can perform sort of a, kind of a scissor-like motion like this. So really, you're imagination is the only thing that's limiting you here. So think about an, an exercise that I like a lot. It's called a halo where I take a deep breath in. I squeeze an object, I halo around my head and come back, deep breath in. I halo around my, around my head and come back, kind of as an example of maybe a transverse plane movement. You know, then we can sequence them together. Deep breath in, halo around my head, deep breath in. Alternating leg extension, deep breath in. Halo hey, back around my head, deep breath in, alternating leg extension. So really, again, those are just a couple ideas that you can start to incorporate um, into your warm-up or into your core training um, 